Over here in the north from the Team Zenix, winning the first game. Zenix, Pion. There he is with his Gosu hands. Those sick Gosu hands. And now to the south, a player that's obviously starting curious. Obviously improved a considerable bit. Or he wouldn't be out here on the stage. They yeah. wouldn't have sent him out. You know, last time I saw him in the team league, I had some issues with this play, so I'm interested to see how he's improved upon that. Yeah, remember he wasn't the best with using his bane links. He over he always overextended yeah. it into the season. In fact, it was on this map, if I recall correctly. It was. Yeah, no, you're right. It was. Sometimes we have really good memories. Sometimes. Definitely not all the time. No. Well, they are cross spots. That is going to make Curious happy. Although he doesn't know they're cross spots. Oh no, he does now. He's got it. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, well. He's, now that he can't scout his opponent too quickly, he's going to be very curious as to what Fionn is doing. Uh, uh. All right, Artosis. Yes. Your favorite Sega Genesis game. Go! Buck Rogers. What is that? The most open-ended RPG for a console system. Probably ever, but I don't know because I haven't played recent ones. Interesting. You tasteless. Kid Chameleon. Ah. Hardest game ever made. Nobody's beaten it except for me. <laughs> Nobody in the whole world has beaten it. Nobody. And you can't do the thing where you so cheat on level two. On YouTube, that's, uh, that was you? The walkthrough? Yeah. There's no walkthrough. There's a speed run. No, but it's, no, no, it's not a speed run. It's one of those ones where the guy actually is, like, cheating. Ah. It's, like, for aesthetics that he did that, which it doesn't make any sense. I see. You can't appreciate it the same way. He, like, used an emulator or whatever. All right, so, so the drone gets in, sees the gas. Really, really good drone. That was a job well drone. Ah! <laughs> Somebody in our audience when I was looking out yawned, and now I keep yawning. It's like this contagious thing. You're going to start yawning soon. You know, yawn. just talking about a yawn can make our, our viewers yawn. So I'm actually just spreading like a yawn. This is one. casting black magic. Throughout the world. That's right. Tasis is I'm like Mark. sleep level one. <laughs> and then you cast, and it's like you cannot cast sleep on this character. I'm like, why did I buy this spell? Yeah, I know. That was a You can't put spell. anything to sleep. Yeah. Very much the case, Tasteless. Only it costs more, and like it's you like, cast it, and then they wake up because you hit them because you, they were sleeping. Do you remember? Like, oh. Do you remember X Zone? From Final Fantasy? Yeah. Yeah, didn't like that spell either. Few Har spells Harm was either. good. Harm? I'm like, is this a ghoul? I don't know. This is good, man. So much damage to undead creatures. All right, he's going to go for the reactor to Hellions, but he's following this up with the starport with a uh, barracks. So it looks to me like Beyond's going to go for a quick Hellions, followed up with a quick Banshee. Yeah. Then probably expand. He does like that uh, Hellion Banshee, does it time to time. How well will Curious hold it off? He's not connecting the creep as you see in between his main and natural, but uh, on this spot, he can actually get the queen to the ramp pretty quickly anyway, so it won't matter as much here as on some positions and some maps. Here come the two Hellions now. Moving down. They probably will not run in the main, although he might actually be tweaking more back at home. And that's are going to be trying to get in. Marine's going to kill him, kill him dead. Another spine crawler. I like the positioning oh. there. Just enough to make the drones move. Not entirely sure if you should wait for the uh, other two to get down there. So he has four. Getting cloak Ooh, as well. That's cloak, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Cloak is on the way. So it's going to be quite a concentrated effort. Uh, and oftentimes you don't see this with cloak. You just see him trying to hit the queen and you know kill queens off, and then use the banshees to great effect. But with the cloak tasis. Oh, Whoa. that was nice. He just slammed, slammed a bunch of drones right there. He body uh, slammed them. He did. Power bombed them. He clotheslined those drone stasis. He red rovered those drones. <laughs> red rovered? He brought them right over? Yeah, but then he clotheslined them. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I see a layer going up, but no Evo. Ah, he's gotten in. He and saw the Banshee. 
Well, just then you realize time. that that is being upgraded. Yes, in fact, he does. And Evolution Chamber going down immediately. Immediately. Well, it's time for this Banshee to, uh, to do as much damage as humanly possible. Would harm we'll do see. damage to the Banshee? Would what? Harm do ban damage to the Banshee? Yes, if it's the final base, yes, it would. I see. Even though it's a human in a jet. It says Banshee, all right? How else are you supposed to know what we're supposed to do? Well, that's why the spell is so bad, man. All right, support crawler on the way. No, no way that's going to be up before he's killed at least seven or eight drones. Got five already dead. In fact, he cancels one right there. Makes an Overseer instead. That's going to... And gets away right as that's finishing up. And six drones down. Seven drones down. And I'm, takes I'm, it out, but still, so many drones you, killed. You said six or seven, Tasteless. I was right. He got seven. Could have gotten seven and gotten away, but misclicked a little bit. Another Banshee is on his way down. Terran expanding now. And now uh, let's see if he goes mech from here, if he just makes more barracks. Zerg's getting a lot of uh, Zerg being Zatter. Don't forget, he does have Cloak. Looks like Bjorn's going to go for pretty heavy uh, Marines. Yeah. No more uh, Hellions. Instead, probably Sea Chanks will start up momentarily here. Spire is on the way. Will Curious go for a heavier Mutalist composition, or will he do the more standard Banelings? I'm hoping the Mutalist. We'll see. I might bet he'll go for Mutalist because the Banshee's just out. And a Goop on the factory. Goodbye, Overseer. The Goopian probably just in case he gets a Thor right when he sees the uh, Mutas that, that are going to be on the way. Yeah. You know, you Goop uh, a Barracks doesn't really do much. That? Nice job. And oh my god, huge surround there. Whoa! Uh, oh, good micro by. Oh my god, Bion. He actually killed so much more than he should have after that. Bion, Bion did a lot strength. of good fake moves there. You know, he was uh, going forward, then he went right back in through the Zerglings and got mm. to their side. The uh, macro hatchery is going up, and the spire is just about to finish. Looks like he's going to have enough to make about seven mutas at once. And uh, I don't know if Terran is really that equipped for this. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. No, I mean Protoss. I mean, blah, blah, I mean Zerg. <laughs> I'm like, I mean Night Elf. I mean, I mean Blanca. I mean, I just think it gets more out of control. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the no, Chicago no, Bulls. Like, no, it's like, no, it's a video <laughs> game, man. Dude, what are you doing, man? Seven mutas are being created. The third base is going up. More of an old school third base timing, with the third base being after that macro hatch. Yeah. And as the mutas are popping, that's kind of the timing that existed during the beta, and then a little bit after that. Well, I think what he's doing is he said, "All right, I identified it's going to be a banshee hellion rush. I've held it off. Mm -hmm. Now I can get a macro hatch up, and then a fourth. I mean, a third oh. base, and still be ahead." Curious, almost losing a muta. Seven hit points left on it. And these mutas not doing a whole lot yet. Hatchery halfway complete. Still more and more Marines here, but we don't have uh, a ton of Banelings out right now, so. He's in good shape. It looks to me like uh, Zerg Curious is actually going to go for just a ton of air units and try to make sure that Terran can never leave his base. Meanwhile, the Banelings will be used uh, to try to engage the army when he does come out, if he does decide to go for that. Well, the Muta is harassing, killing a few SUVs, does end up losing that very damaged Muta. Probably should have sent him home, put some band-aids on him. Not even joking. Sent him home and transfused. Good creep spread so far. For Curious. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. Doesn't want to get a... Terrence pushing. Ooh. Oh! Trying the Xenix line style. Not quite catching him yet. A lot of Zerglings are on the way. A Bane Nest is up. Ah... Uh... And he's, he's going Bane's tasteless. Well, it was a nice job there with the uh, the flanking from the Zerg and then backing up. Terra doesn't seem too comfortable moving out. Now, the reason why he's using this medevac, because obviously there are uh, mutas out, so Mutalist Zergling can actually kill that. Oh, sneaky Banshee. How many kills in that Banshee, Artosis? It's two so far. Two. No anti-air over there at the moment. The Overseer is there, though. Mutas should be coming back. He's a run. Damn, the Banshee fires fast. Yeah, it really does. You actually always run from a Banshee, Tasteless. Oh, yeah. 
Well, here come the Marines. And you know what? This is kind of tank heavy on this timing, but he continues to make Banelings. I really feel like Xenix line has a better answer to this, which is, of course, the uh, Mutalisk Zergling. You know, you can, if they're pretty tank heavy, you can really do a lot of damage to those Zerglings just running in, and you'll have way more Mutas. And you just start killing off a few Marines, and suddenly yeah. the Mutas overwhelm everything. Ah, though. now here comes the drop. The Queen's coming out. And he's attacking in two locations at once. Not enough Zerglings. Uh-oh, Baneling uh -oh. Speed is almost done. Not quite, though, and another attack over here by Bion. Now he does have Siege Tanks up there. He almost has this game we we on. <laughs> he always we on is what you we said, on, man. He might find out he's number we on. All right, now he knows the bailings are the threat here. He might try to target down the hatch. The mutas are coming up, and you know Zerg's got to be careful because. All right, here we go. A good spread by Beyond so far. A lot of mutas. Are oh left. my God! Wow. There's too many of them. Completely crushing the face. See you in hell, Hatchery. And, uh, well, it's 157 supply to 119. And Bion has his third command center already out, already floating over. He's okay, this crushing. is bad. I think the. I just, right now, um, Startel's making some mistakes here. Yeah. With who they're sending out. You don't want to be down uh, two games when you have no wins. Furious is. He's just, I don't think he's doing that great a job, Taysom. We have these plus 1-1 one, one Marines. The Banelings are incoming. And finally, it looks like he will take out Sing. The Medivacs away at a good timing. Yeah. Sending them off in different directions, realizing that Mutas are much quicker. And just choosing to kill two. I feel like he actually could have killed all those if he had gone after the front one. Eh. All right, takes out the turrets now. Uh, curious, this is a nice way to try to engineer a comeback, you know, get some SEs, get the turrets, but, uh, turrets are pretty good, and that bought enough time for the Marines now coming here and try to attack. You can see Curious is like, I think I can get that, but I don't know if there are more Marines behind that. Well, he's actually doing a really great job still, has a lot of Mutos left. In fact, he has, looks like, 15 Mutos left, 14 now, killing off some even more Marines. All right, but now here are the rest of the Marines. Yeah, he's going to have to get out of there. He does have plus two attack. You know, I feel like this game, and it's it's brand new, so it's not completely caught on, but I think it will. Uh, if he had gone for Xenix line style, you know, he made Banelings there. If he had just put all that money into Muta Link, I feel like he would have crushed that attack, and then this harassment would have been unbelievably deadly. Yeah, I sort of agree with you. I think... He's even got the plus two mutas. I feel like he's very middle of the road with what he's doing. He's like, well, I'm going to go mass mute Ling, but I'm going to have some banes. It's a little bit too conservative, too. Yeah. A little bit too, like, well, this is what people were doing a while ago, so it must be yeah. good. Another muta attack. That's 16 mutas there. Taren just flew over the banelings. I don't know if the Zerg is going to notice this. Hmm. Well, did our Taren notice it? Yeah, he did. He's sending Sea Chinks who's planetary. And can he actually get in here and kill SCVs? SCVs running. Uh, eh. Not too yeah. effective. Killed a few SCVs off. It is 53 SCVs against 67 drones, but also there's mules out, so Yun gonna be feeling completely fine with what just occurred. 149 supply for Yun, 138 for Curious. Now if, if Curious can actually hold off this attack, this next one coming here from Yun, it's gonna be pretty huge because. He lost that last hatchery, and now Zerg's double expanding and transferring drones. Uh oh. Going after that planetary. Hey man, if he kills that and then holds off the attack down here. Yeah, that's gonna change the whole game. Absolutely, it will. Uh oh, he's definitely gonna lose that planetary. Boom. Down it goes. Well, let's see here. Still a lot of units for a Zerg player out. It's a good number of mutas with that plus two. He's got 38 lings, 10 banes, 23 mutas. If he holds off this uh, Terran attack, it's going to be back to like what it looked like a little while ago uh, with Terran on two base, Zerg on three. It was actually great. But here Bion goes. Just sending a small group of Marines out there to be able to micro back. In the meantime, mutas trying to pick off tanks over here. Marines being pulled back to protect those tanks. Only three tanks left. Bion just 
Well, I mean, Curious rather needs a nice big swarm of Zergling self out here. Is he making? Any? He is indeed. 26 slings on the way, but oh choosing my to attack God. now. Will he be able to break through? The Sea Shank's doing a lot of damage on Thor joining in. Nice Thor timing by Beyond. And now it looks like uh, Curious might be dead. Taking out the hatchery. Almost. This time, Curiosity killed the gun. Wow. Wow. Um, well, you know, he was making 26 lings when he decided to attack. I feel like he should have faked that attack, waited for 24 lings, and try to break it then, but... It is now 123 supply to 97 beyond in the lead. Back to two base. All right, another attack coming in here. More Bane links, but those siege tanks actually destroyed all that. Oh no, and Curious, he's got nothing left, man. I mean, he just lost all those mutas. Beyond's gonna get home with his medivacs. And Beyond has plenty. His third base is back up. He's got one additional base over the Zerg player who has 50 minerals. Zerg player barely mining at this point. Well, we you know, you, you just can't keep losing bases like this is Zerg. Yeah. Because you lose that base, you're also losing a production facility for units, so you're just you're getting behind in every way. Whoa, that's an ambitious stim. I think we're going to see Curious just make a few more units tasteless and go for it. Doesn't look like he really has much. You might want to go for right clicking the Bane Links onto the planetary, but even then it's yeah. like Terran's like, all right, I'm going to counterattack you, L O L, and it's all in caps, and I'm like, stop talking like that. Well, yeah, those mutas, three mutas flying around, trying to harass, two mutas now. Ooh, we might see GG pretty soon here. Wow! You're good. Prophet Tasteless. Tasteless to Clairvoyant. I could have used my Clairvoyant powers for justice, but instead I use it to look like a better caster than I actually am. That was silly. Thank you. Well, right now, Starjail down two games against the underdogs. Oh. Well, Bion, he's not an underdog, Tasis. He's actually no, he's doing so well in the GSL right now. Really has shown so much improvement. He's given the, uh, you know, the Starjail team a rerun for his money. Oh, my God. You're so Bion-y. Thank you. You're uh, also my Bion-y. My Bion-y. Yeah. the young. Young screen word, guys. All right. Well, we're going to take a look at who they're going to bring out next. Who do you bring out from Startail? Frankly, the first time I say, yeah. You bring out Ace or Squirtle? Probably, Probably Squirtle. 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 Beyond his weak to water Pokemon. He was a water Pokemon? Well, he's it? a rock type. So, Squirtle can go ahead and uh, hurt him, man. He's solid as a rock. Got to use Water Gun. Get your little super soaker out. Do you ever have a super soaker? Uh, my brother got one at some point. Those things cool. are reduced. You got to like pump them the whole time. And then it gets like kind of hard and it's like a little bit wiggly because it's actually really cheap plastic. Yeah. So you have that one friend who's got you like the big one. In it and squirt at your friends? <laughs> no. Oh, me either. You neither? Nah. You're like, ah, my skin burns. You're like, ah, oh, my eyes. You're a terrible, terrible child, Artosis. I didn't do that, Tasteless. So you think Squirtle? I'm going to vote with Squirtle. Yeah, I'd go with Squirtle. All right. Either that or you throw out... Well, they've already lost two, so... July Zerger Bomber is also a good choice. Bomber's you know what? They might want to get Bomber there to get rid of Beyond this Terran versus Terran. Yeah, Bomber's really good TVT. And I mean, Bomber could do it. Beyond's insanely good, but... I think I think Bomber's better. Oh, you know what I see? I see Rainbow's uh, girlfriend in the audience, so maybe they, they're going to use Rainbow today. You think so? She's if they here. use Rainbow, I'd like to see them use him first or second. I agree. I don't like him third or fourth. Oh. You know, they should. They need to bring out a big gun. July Zerg or Bomber. Let's go. Let's get this show Who's on the road. Who's it going to be? Wait for it. Ace? Huh. Ace. All right, Ace. well, it is Protoss, one of our... It's like they bring out Curious again. I'm like, what? Like, nah, he can get Oh, it. my God. Curious is going to go twice in the team league. Beyond, can he do this? If he actually gets one more win, I don't think uh, Stardale can recover. Hmm. But we'll see. Imagine if you could put a player more than once in a team league. Wow. Would that be 
so stupid, but yeah. The GSL Mess T League. Oh my god, we had somebody just crash into my set. All right. All you do is right, save set, that wall. I, I, I about maybe five times a game, somebody just walks in that thing and knocks it over. What is with people actually, like, walking into that? Like, I don't know, man. These are like some wiggly and jiggly nerds, man. They must be excited. Just we need to get something put around. We need to get orange cones put around this thing. <laughs> all right? Danger. Maybe have it a wet shock floor with electricity. Sign. All right, so since that was game number two, guys, we're going to go to a five-minute break. Don't go too far away. We'll be back with more games here at the GSDM.